Welcome to this week's Tuesday Truth for Kids. I hope you are all having a great week so far and that you are excited to see another reason why we all need Jesus. Now, before we get into it, I want to ask you, imagine you were going to have a dinner party. What would you get out and what would you do to impress everyone coming? How would you make it a really special night? Maybe you'll get out some candles, some fancy dinner plates. You would dress up, have really expensive food and delicious dessert. Hmm, I'm getting hungry right now. Who would you invite to your fancy dinner party? Is there maybe someone that you would not want to come at all? Well, today we are going to see how Jesus ate a meal with someone who was an outsider. No one wanted to be this person's friend. And people certainly did not think that someone like Jesus should hang out with someone like this. But we will see how Jesus came to earth to be friends with people like this guy. So let's open our Bibles to the first book in the New Testament, the book of Matthew. And we're going to read from chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. All right, when you're ready, let's read together. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him. And Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but those who are ill. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. So what on earth is going on in this story that we read here? Well, Matthew, the guy who the book is named after, so cool. Well, Matthew was a tax collector. So he was part of Jewish people, God's chosen people. But he worked as a tax collector, which means he collected money for the Jewish people's enemies. He was seen by all the Jewish people as a traitor, a cheat. He was quite obviously the bad guy. What do you think the Jewish people said about Matthew? But here we see in these verses that Jesus invites Matthew personally. He calls him by his name and calls him to follow him. And then he has a meal with Matthew and with other tax collectors and sinners, bad people, just like Matthew. Now, the Pharisees, they're the other characters in this true story. They are religious leaders who worked very, very hard to keep God's laws and to do the right thing. They wanted everyone to see how good they were and how, and how they kept God's rules. And they stayed away from people who were not like them. So when Jesus called Matthew to follow him, the Pharisees were shocked and angry. They thought that they deserved to be invited by Jesus. After all, they've been working so hard to keep God's laws. And they didn't think that Matthew should sit and eat with Jesus. They could not believe that someone like Jesus would choose to hang out with someone like Matthew. But Jesus explained that he came to save sinners. Jesus came for bad people, not good people. He came for those who knew that they had sin in their hearts and people who knew that they needed someone to rescue them from their sin so that they can be forgiven and come close to God again. The Pharisees didn't realize that no matter how many good things they do, they were still sinners and they needed a rescuer too. Now, just like a doctor doesn't work to help people who are healthy, but works to help people who are sick, Jesus didn't come for people who think they don't need him. He came for people who know that they have sin and that they know they need Jesus. And when people like that come to him, 
Jesus welcomes them. So what does this mean for us today? Well, the Pharisees and Matthew, they all had the same problem. They all had sin. And guess what? I have that same problem and you have that same problem too. We all have sin in our hearts that separates us from God. So do you know that you need Jesus just like Matthew knew he did? If you know that you need Jesus and you turn to him, Jesus welcomes you. Even if you are an outsider at school, even if you never get invited to parties, even if you aren't popular and you don't have many friends at all, Jesus wants to be your friend and he is the greatest friend that you'll ever have. The second thing I want us to think about is how we treat other people who are outsiders. Jesus came to welcome people who were left out, those who were not accepted. How can you be more like Jesus? Is there maybe someone at school or someone near where you live who is left out, an outsider, and who needs to be welcomed as a friend? Let's close our eyes and pray, pray together. Jesus, thank you so much that you came for sinners. You came for people who know that they need a rescuer. Jesus, no matter how hard we try, we cannot come close to God on our own. We need you. Thank you that you came for us, that you welcome us, and that you died for us in our place. Help us to be like you, Jesus, and to welcome people around us who are left out and outsiders too. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you did for us. Amen. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you next week. Have an awesome week. And don't forget, you can read your Bibles every day, not just on a Tuesday. Tuesday.